I don't like Easter. There. I said it. I know. A lot to take in. Now, what I don't like about Easter is how it's been commercialized. I don't like that we miss the true meaning of what Easter actually is. Yesterday was Good Friday, uh, the celebration of Jesus Christ sacrificing himself, the Father God sending his only son to die for the sins of the world. Now, to take all that and to buy chocolate bunnies, to buy Easter eggs, to buy candy, to buy little toys, and put it all in a basket and say that a bunny brings it to our children, I know, it's a lot. Now, if you're someone of the faith, then you understand where I'm coming from. If you don't believe, then you're on the other side of the fence. Well, how can I believe in either one? And understand that. The things that occur after you place your faith in Jesus Christ and understand the sacrifice that was committed, the sacrifice that He did, laying His life down, when you understand that and when you apply these principles of Christianity to your life, you continually improve. I mean, there's qualities that just, if you apply them to your life, you don't regress. You progress your life. The way that Christ wanted us to live and wants us to mold our lives after Him, there's no negative to that. It's just incredible. I had written down some things about the the commercialization of Easter, and it says that just in America, it's projected that we're going to spend around $22.4 billion. What is that? What are we doing? What are we spending it on? Candy, food, toys, baskets, decorations. But we're not adding to the real reason. We're not giving the real reason here. And then I saw another statistic that said 81% of Americans plan to celebrate Easter. Now, is that in the sense of buying a basket and putting a bunch of eggs in it? or to actually understand what Easter is truly about. Because last Sunday, Palm Sunday, is when Jesus enters the city on a donkey, and they're laying palms in front of him uh, as a king. They're accepting the king coming in. And from that point on, we have the Last Supper, then we have praying in the garden to where he's betrayed, and then he's turned over to uh, Pontius Pilate, and they go back and forth. They're wondering what to do with him. He obviously sees that he's an innocent man, but he wants to plead the people. And even his own people reject him, just like it says in John chapter 1. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. And if you want to see how all this plays out, I mean, Isaiah 53 tells you exactly everything that Christ was prophesied to go through hundreds of years before it even occurred. Yet it still happens, and we see it in multiple accounts. We see it in the Gospels. We see it in extra-biblical accounts. We see that these things happened, and these people who believed in Christ believed in Him so much that they were willing to die for it. And yet we take bunny eggs and put them in a basket and call that Easter? That's why I don't like Easter. I love Christ, and I love what he did for me. And I love that he laid his life down and that he rose on the third day. That's what Easter's about. After he was crucified, after he laid his own life down, he rose from the dead three days later and is sitting on the right hand of the Father. Someday he's going to return. Someday he's going to come back and announce himself, I hope you're ready. And if you die before that moment, I hope that you had made preparations. If you have questions, if you have any comments, if you have anything that you want to know, I will try my best to help them. I've got an email set up. It's called dylansfaith at gmail.com. You can either leave a comment here or you can email me and we can kind of discuss it privately. I'd like to just open a discussion. I'm going to use the second channel every now and then to kind of do videos like this if I have a thought that comes up. It's not going to be all just this, but it's something that where I feel like I could use this as a platform and be able to discuss with you guys. Hopefully some of you may come to faith through this or get to know Christ or just strengthen your faith in general. I really hope that we can, you know, just be able to do that because I don't want people to go to church just on Easter, just on Christmas, and then they think that's their fill. They've done all they need to do. They've done the good thing. They're a good person. Nobody's good. We're filthy rags. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's no chance for us to enter into heaven unless we place our faith in Jesus Christ. We're never going to meet those expectations, unfortunately, because we're never going to be perfect because we're in our flesh. We don't know how to. We don't have the ability to not sin. And that's why we needed Christ to go and give himself 
died on the cross, resurrected on the third day as the ultimate sacrifice. That way we have that ability, that forgiveness, that atonement, that grace that allows us to be able to go to heaven and be with Christ and the Father. Because without that, we would have nothing. So I hope you guys got something from this. I hope you enjoy your Easter. I hope you understand what Easter's about. Just look into it. See that all these things that we do as commercialized Easter is just wrong. But see what the right thing is. Look into what the truth is and understand what Christ did for you. Thank you guys. Have a good one.